Hello everyone, it's Glenda J. I hope that you're having an amazing day today. Today I will be sharing with you how I set up my home office, a designated workspace, a space where I can just finish and leave the room. I didn't have to move anything at the end of the day or at the end of the work session. So here's what I did. I um, had some um, wall shelves uh, added to the room. I couldn't find bookcases that, that would really work for me and not close the room up. As I'm working from a small space, I wanted to get that open feel. So I got these shelves put in and I use them for um, files and also to accessorize the space. And this calendar is a practical thing and, and it's a functional thing. So, first I um, gave the wall some touch-up paint. And then after that, I cleaned the floor. After that, I let in a lot of light, as much light. I always, since I've been in this office, I've been letting in. First thing I do is to rotate the shutters and let in as much light as possible. So, then I brought in some greenery, let the outdoors in a little bit more. Um, that's a good thing, even if it's faux. Mine is faux. It's not a real life uh, plant. When I find a real life plant that going to be able to keep alive. I will put one in here. Maybe I'll get a tiny one to start. Okay, so I had this desk already. It's a fold away desk, but I don't fold it away. I leave it out and I could use a little bit more uh, desk space in the future. But right now this will work for me. So I got two nice desk chairs pretty comfy and I got all of my work essentials my printer my little cabinet that's a storage cabinet I use I use some of my I have some books in there some folders as well as the wall I have um, these little file containers on the wall so I can put files there still in need of a file cabinet when I find the one that I really I want something more linear and I got this little fridge here and that makes it comfy as well because I don't have to go out of the room immediately for water or anything I have can contain six uh, small bottles of water six containers of uh, actually, yeah, six containers of juice, either or. Okay, so another thing I got was these um, motivational quotes on the wall. And I'm not sure if they will stick around. I like them, but I also feel the need of having some kind of um, outdoor scenery on the wall. So if I... I gotta see what I find as far as the scenery stuff. Okay, and so I got that calendar there. And that's a good that's a good thing. It, it wipes down. You can you know use it year round. Year after year you can just wipe it down with the eraser. So that's good to have because that keeps you on point. And what else? Got a ton of pens and all the other essentials. My printer, printer paper and all that stuff. So I got it contained here, but I still need that file cabinet to even better it. So guys, um, I gotta change out the light. At some point I'm gonna change out, I'm, I'm, I'm up to openness, so that'll make it even more lighter and airier which would make it feel 
a little bit bigger. And then, okay, I got this piece of art. What I like about the art piece is it's just a few colors and it'll keep the room from closing in from having too many colors. So as that's the tip. Limit your colors and try to keep it light and bright if possible. So guys, I hope by me sharing with you some of my tips and some of my, some check things off of my list and I hope that that helps you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you are inspired to do your home office. This is Glenda J and I'll see you in the next video. In the next video I'll have the, the flooring and the, the lighting done. So, Okay guys, see you in the next one. Bye now.